Good morning, strugglers. So you know I like to keep you up to date on the latest local drama, right? Everyone wants to know what's going on in Fargo, North Dakota. Well, we got a doozy today. So there's this ice cream shop in Moorhead, which is the sister city to Fargo on the Minnesota side. You know, Minnesota, they're, they're all wacky over there. And it's called The Freeze. It's a walk-up stand. It's a really old shop. It's been around forever. Let me actually look it up. Okay, when I look up Moorhead Freeze, all I'm seeing is news articles about <laughs> what I'm gonna talk about. So <laughs> it's been around for a while. And it recently got a new owner as of a couple months ago. The original owner had been there for many, many, many years. I don't know the exact number. But anyway, let's talk about what actually happened. So there was this Facebook post on April 28th that reads as follows. This spring, our daughter started her fifth season working at the Moorhead Freeze. She was recently let go because of a generous tip that a customer left for her. That seems odd, huh? Let go because a customer left a generous tip? What's going on here? Our daughter was offered a $100 tip and told the customer she couldn't accept it. The customer put $100 in the tip jar and drove away. So the girl said, sorry, ma'am, I can't take that from you. And the lady left it anyway. At the end of her shift, our daughter's employer was upset and accused our daughter of taking $100 from a customer. Attached is the written notice that our daughter received from her employer two days later on April 24th. She was then terminated on April 25th. What is going on here? So much seems to have been happening in just a couple of days. According to the Moorhead Freeze policy, it is a violation to accept bills over $20 as a form of payment. There is nothing in the policy about tip amounts. So that's a good little piece of insider information information. I'm, I'm glad we have that. That was initially an assumption because like I said, it's just a walk-up store in the middle of this dirt parking lot in the middle of nowhere, <laughs> genuinely. There's a lot of places, small places that are like, oh, we don't accept credit cards because the fees are too high and we can't afford it. Um, I know for a while places were just not taking checks back when people wrote checks. So that would have made sense. But if it's not even in the, you know, a tip is a tip. Our daughter appreciates the generosity of the lady who tipped her and feels that this kind lady is in no way responsible for what happened. I mean, low key, she's the only reason that it happened. <laughs> if she had never left that generous tip, poor Emily would still be working a job here. Okay, so that happened, right? That's what the parents posted on their Facebook page. And then they shared a picture of what the employer gave to the girl. And this is where it starts to get a little bit weird, okay? I know that it was already weird for the girl to get fired over accepting a tip or not really kind of like half-heartedly not really accepting a tip. Actually, you know what? She didn't accept the tip. <laughs> the customer left the tip after she was told that they can't accept it. So anyway, super weird. Here's what the Moorhead Freeze, which is just one owner, here's what they said to the, to the girl. This is the written up notice. The following corrective action must be taken by the employee. Emily needs to understand that some of our customers are elderly and could be dealing with dementia or other illnesses that make it hard for them to understand their actions. <laughs> what? This is wild. I mean, this is a wild way to start this. Emily needs to understand. <laughs> That's like the most passive aggressive wording that you could possibly do. But this next sentence is the craziest part of the entire note. No one in their right frame of mind tips $100 at a place where every menu item is under $12. We're going off the rails here. Another insane assumption. So the boss is assuming that whoever left the tip has dementia because nobody in their right frame of mind would leave a big tip like that. People leave generous tips like that. It, it happens, it's not unheard of. Also at a small place like this, the customer may have been a regular coming there for years and she was like, you know what, today's the day. You know what, this girl, Emily, she's been working here for as long as I can remember, I'm gonna leave a big generous tip. I just got my social security and I'm <laughs> As an employee of the freeze, it is your responsibility to protect the reputation of the establishment. If the customer is dealing with issues and the family finds out that she was allowed to put $100 in the tip jar, the freeze will be looked down on as a place that takes advantage of the elderly. What the hell are you talking about right now? It has never been confirmed that this customer was some elderly person, by the way. <laughs> All of the wording so far makes it seem like this is just some crazy assumption that's being made. Looking out for our customers should take priority over the opportunity to get a tip. Here, here's what I'm seeing here. The freeze will be looked down on as a place that takes advantage of the you're so worried about the freeze being looked down on. Dude, they're getting absolutely dragged right now. This story has blown up so big, it's gone national, okay? <laughs> so many thousands of shares and comments all across the board. So that was the post that the parents made on behalf of their daughter. So then, in response to this, because this was blowing up and people were then going to the freeze's Facebook page and just roasting the hell out of them. In response to all of that, this is what the freeze, this is what the freeze posted. Ice cream makes people happy. Social media bullying? Not so much. Here we f
Gonna go. <laughs> we're, we're getting into it now. We did not terminate the adult at will employee of five years for accepting a tip. There's more to the story. Well, I'm sure there is. I don't appreciate the way that you're framing this right now. <laughs> Already taking digs at the girl. I mean, the f f so far, the girl didn't even say anything publicly. And they're like taking shots at her. Oh, she's an adult. Okay, she was an at-will employee. We didn't exterminate her from taking a tip. We won't go into details. It's a personal matter. However, we believe that if parents are posting for an adult child, they haven't asked the right questions of their adult daughter. This is fucking crazy. This is a business. You're a business owner. This is what you're publicly putting forward as a business owner. That is wild. And you're right. You know, there probably is more to the story and we don't know every detail. You haven't done much to share that with us, but you know, maybe you want to keep it private. That's fair. This insane like high school bickery level drama is, is so unprofessional for a business. So yeah, clearly not enough thought went into this response because... Woof. We are a small business built on a strong work ethic and Moorhead values. Our values and expectations reflect those of the community and our customers. Well, that's kind of an ironic thing to say because everyone is just flaming you for this. Oh, our values include firing a good employee over accepting a tip. Those are some pretty strong values. Yeah, you know, I think I don't think Moorhead aligns with that actually. And then once again, ice cream makes people happy. Social media bullying, not so much. Well, here's the thing. I don't know that people can actually bully a company like this it's a business can you bully a business who, who are they bullying and this guy said nah i think dragging a company who fired an employee for receiving a large tip that they tried to refuse is much more enjoyable than ice cream well here's another side to the story <laughs> it's, this is so weird because it's a massive dog pile you know a public this is a public execution of this company and it is just a small business i keep saying company right it's just a small little tiny business one little singular shack in a dirt parking lot, if you know, it's barely more than like a lemonade stand. <laughs> and that's not to knock the business. It's been there forever. You know, it's very, it's also a very highly respected business in, in town. It goes back forever. Everyone has great memories of going to the, the Moorhead, it used to be the Tasty Freeze. And they're just absolutely soiling it. Their whole reputation has gone down the tubes because of one so poorly thought out post. You had the opportunity to make things right. Now watch as your business crumbles. Oh my God. Okay, Thanos. Whoa, whoa. This was such a a poorly handled situation and they're right we do not know everything that went on but i do have an assumption of what maybe went on i think that emily got this tip and for whatever reason the boss didn't like that that happened okay they've probably been butting heads for a long time these two so then the boss was like telling off emily like you got to be smarter about this what if they had dementia Yeah, blah, blah, blah. and then emily was probably like are you fucking kidding me like you can't be serious right now. And the boss didn't like that. You know, the boss sees that as insubordination. Again, I'm just, this is all hypothetical. So then the boss decides, you know what? I'm going to write you up. I'm going to make this official so we have a paper trail of your insubordination. Well, Emily didn't like that either. So she tells her parents, you know, she brings the note home and she's an adult. Oh, why would she bring, she brings her parents into it? She's an adult. I'm 28 years old. I still talk to my parents. What, what the hell? So then the parents take it upon themselves to go to Facebook, which, you know, people in their 50s, 60s tend to do. And they make a post, you know, defending the honor of their daughter, as any good parent would. And that somehow just picks up steam, builds into this huge thing that's been shared thousands of times. Locally, that's a huge deal. And then the business owner thought, how can I make myself seem like I'm in the right here? Well, I'm gonna take a jab, jab, uppercut Right to everyone involved. You know, my favorite news station, Valley News Live, did a did a short story on this. Popular Moorhead ice cream shop is under fire after allegations that an employee was fired for receiving too big a tip. It all kicked off after this Facebook post, adding as an employee, it's their responsibility to protect the reputation of the establishment. That's from... Yeah, it's just funny to me that like, they're so concerned about protecting the reputation of the establishment and in doing so, the reputation of the establishment has never been worse. <laughs> Taylor Swift looking ass, you know, my reputation's never been worse. Now Valley News Live reached out to the original family for comment, but they declined an interview. We also stopped by the Moorhead Freeze today where a staff member told us whatever's in the media is wrong or incomplete. But when asked if they wanted to talk or correct anything, they declined. There is like a tough spot to be in where I don't fully know the laws about it, but can they say, like, can the business come out and be like, oh, we fired Emily because of this, this, and this. Can they do that? I don't, I, I genuinely don't know. I'm just a self-employed loser. You know, I can't fire myself. Some days I wish I could. Some days I wish I could. Now we couldn't verify for sure who left the tip, but under this story on our Facebook page, a commenter wrote, quote, 
I didn't know I had dementia until- You see, you know, here, no, no, no. <laughs> Valley News Live, what are you doing? This is not the person, <laughs> okay? I've looked into this. This is just something that somebody wrote as a goof and then a lot of people were also kind of just copying and pasting it in the reviews. You Valley News Live, you gotta do your due diligence here, guys. <laughs> you can't be reporting on this. This is not real. As far as I know at this point, the person that left the tip has not come forward. And that is the smoking gun. Once we find out who it was, then everything's gonna come crumbling down. And you know, we will watch your business crumble. <laughs> to all the Freeze employees who are having to see this happen to the place you love is heartbreaking. It pains me to think that this story will hurt all of your hard-earned and well-deserved incomes and tips. Please know you are amazing employees. I mean, that's another, uh, very presumptuous. Maybe they're not. <laughs> no, but it does suck. Think about working there and it's like, you're just, you're just, caught in the crossfire. Somebody showed up, left a big tip, and now, <laughs> now you might, the business might close. Dude, it's like Chuck E. Cheese all over again. Where's Elizabeth? We need to check in with concerned citizen Elizabeth. Where are you? In all of this, we need a voice of reason, okay? Somebody phone Grand Forks immediately. We need to know what Elizabeth thinks about all of this. So I alluded to it earlier, but the, um, the reviews of this company on Google and on Facebook have just been getting smoked. One star reviews by hundreds, thousands of people, okay? And it just tanked the business's rating, which is such a bummer because like I said, it's actually a very beloved place. And they dropped it all the way down to a 1.8. That was the most recent that I saw, but since then they have disabled ratings. So you can't even rate the business anymore. But another thing that a lot of people were doing, like I said, people were copying and pasting saying that they were the dementia uh, tipper. Well, other people have been reposting this photo of the local Dairy Queen. And now this is where the drama gets intense, okay? The freeze is that walk-up stand. It's only open in the summer. It's very seasonal. Well, we also have a historic, historic Dairy Queen in Fargo, just on the other side of the river that uh, has been around forever. I think it might even be like one of the first, but it is one of the final remaining outdoor walk-up Dairy Queens. We actually went there as a family very recently. We got some video. It's a very cute place. I love it. I used to go there in college all the time. It's just down the street from where I went to school. And the place is great. I mean, it's awesome. It's beloved. It's absolutely swarming with people all day, every day in the summer. So people were posting this photo of the outside of the Dairy Queen. They have this digital sign. And uh, on the sign, it says, all tips are welcome, which appears to be a, a massive shot at this drama that the freeze is going through. Well, this is misinformation, all right? It's disinformation, frankly. This is Photoshopped, or it's not even, it's like Microsoft painted. <laughs> but so many people have been believing that this is real, and good grief, man, come on, guys. <laughs> we don't know who left the tip. This picture of the Dairy Queen is not real. I wanted to originally title this video, my local ice cream stores are feuding, because I thought that would be hilarious, but that's unfortunately not the truth, so I didn't want to lie to you like that. This guy apparently is like a PR dude. I normally charge people, but here's a free consult. He's saying this is what the business should have posted on Facebook instead of the crazy petty thing that they said. Yesterday, an internal memo was publicly released detailing a personal issue. It is against our policy to discuss personnel issues publicly. However, we believe there is more to this story Story and encourage the family to come forward with the truth. Nevertheless, we would like to publicly address the contents of the released internal memo. We appreciate the community's response and everyone who has helped us understand why our comments about older adults were harmful and inaccurate. We wrote this employee up under the best of intentions, seeking to protect our community and partner with our customers to help keep Moorhead I'm sorry, I'm struggling right now. <laughs> to keep Moorhead a great place to work and live. However, we now recognize the harm this ageist and ungenerous belief has caused our community. We deeply apologize. And he, he continues on, but all, seriously, dude, all they had to do, the lady that owns the company, all she had to do was reach out to anybody, anybody that is a third party and be like, hey, how do I, what do I do here? I don't know how to handle this. I'm not gonna, I'm gonna do the wrong thing. I'm about to hit post. I'm about to hit post and insult the girl and her parents. What do I do? Stop me. Stop Somebody stop me. So anyway, I've been sitting here stewing over this, thinking like, you know, what is what is the correct take? And maybe there isn't one. Everything is so nuanced here. I know that, I mean, <laughs> I'm, I'm leaning heavily towards the side of the employee here, right? But I wanted to see if there was more nuance to it than meets the eye. And to do that, I wanted to bring in somebody who's an absolute expert in nuance. No one in their right frame of mind tips $100 at a place <laughs> where every menu item is under $12. It is your responsibility to protect the reputation of the establishments. The Freeze will be looked down on as a place that takes advantage of the elderly. <laughs> when I was younger, my grandma used to give me increasingly larger tips and are just like for every birthday. I'm wondering if now I have taken advantage of the elderly. <laughs> Cause when I get money, I'm just like, hey, thank you. I love you too. <laughs> it is odd that, uh, 
how they're trying to frame this as like they're fighting for the rights of the elderly. Something that I think was an interesting point that a lot of people made, and I'm just gonna float this out there and get your opinion on it. If mm -hmm. there is an elderly person coming to the ice cream store with dementia, almost no chance that they would have been out on their own. They would not have driven there by themselves. Why are they out here at this ice cream store tipping $100 mm -hmm. to begin with? So the narrative seems a little flawed. Especially because it seems like the girl did the right thing or the what they, the store wanted her to do by saying, no, we can't take that. And the elderly just did it on her own volition. It feels a little odd to just assume that anyone who has a large tip is uh, mentally unwell. <laughs> See, that's, you know? that's another huge part of this. And I quote, no one in their right frame of mind tips $100 at a place where every menu item is under $12. What a crazy thing to say. I'm sure it, ha I'm sure it is an odd, occurrence, but it, I'm sure it happens to people who just want to give back, especially if this woman has been to this place many times on this day, she's feeling very generous. She's having this ice cream that she had as a kid. And she's just like, wow, I would love to really give back. I want to make sure this business stays, you know, up and thriving so that, you know, my kids and my kids' kids uh, can all come here. So she's trying to do the nice thing. And then that business turns around and fires her favorite employee. <laughs> Isn't that wild? Yeah. The girl's been working there for five years. They said when I worked at office max years ago, um, the, the assistant manager wanted, um, he was number two in charge and the guy was like number three in charge. Mm -hmm. um, the number two guy wanted number three guy gone. There was a, a regular client that came in and he, uh, to do printing and he just needed one copy, one black and white copy, which was nine cents. And uh, instead of making the guy paid nine cents, the guy number three in charge was like, you know, I just take it, you're fine. You're like a regular customer. Mm -hmm. And then the guy who had the number two guy at the store was like, can't allow that. You just gave out free stuff and they fired the number three guy Ooh. because of the incident. So I think sometimes they use incidents like this to just try to like let go of an employee so that they don't have to like pay out anything like, like or you're getting fired for cause. See, and that's interesting that you say that because a lot of people also were, were... so here's the generational divide. There was a local news story posted on Facebook. A lot of the comments on that news story were older people like in their 50s, mm -hmm. 60s, and they were saying, there's gotta be more to this. There's gotta be more to yeah. this. On the company, the, the Moorhead Freeze post, the comments were from a lot of younger folks and they are much less forgiving. Okay, so here, let me send you this. The company was getting a ton of backlash because mm -hmm. all they had really seen was the parents post and the letter that was sent to the daughter. So now this is what the rest, the, the ice cream shop responded with. This is what they chose to say. We won't go into details. It's a personal matter. However, we believe that if parents are posting for an adult child, for an adult, for an adult child. What is an adult child? I think what they're trying to say is they're almost like making fun of the girl for like her parents coming to her defense. Cause they're like, this oh. girl is an adult. She can stand up for herself. Like why she gotta right. have mommy and daddy defending her. They haven't asked the right questions of their, of their adult daughter. <laughs> the adult daughter thing is weird. <laughs> Ice cream makes people happy. Redundant social media bullying. Wait, why do they repeat that? I guess they really wanted to hammer that home. <laughs> it's weird for a, a, a business to play victim. That's it's, it's always the wrong choice to be like, there's more that you don't know and I won't share it. Wait, wait, I have a joke. Can I, can I do yeah, it? Yeah, yeah, go for it. Everyone's asking for more information, but they're not giving it. It should be less head freeze. <laughs> you know what? Dylan is in trouble, everybody. <laughs> I think the more to the story is there's been some butting heads, you know, between Emily and the owner. And the owner is like, I'm so sick of this girl. And then the girl did something that she thought she could turn into a fireable offense. Maybe the girl went to work and was complaining to her coworkers about all of this. Mm. And was like, can you believe that, that I got written up for accepting a tip? And then that made it back to the owner. And then it's like, you know what? You're gone. I can entirely see that because that's exactly what happened at that office max when I worked there. Mm -hmm. it, it was it was a lot of simmering behind the scenes stuff. And there was just an inciting incident that was enough for the person in charge to be like, all right, perfect. I got my excuse now. You accepted a tip, <laughs> which is the <laughs> oddest. Like you, you brought in more money for us today. That is not allowed, okay? <laughs> but I think you are absolutely right. There is more going on. Um, but it's not, I don't think it's anything like major. It's just like people not getting along at work and someone wants someone else gone and then they found a way to, to make it happen. I'm surprised it, it's taken such like a, a national scale or whatever because a girl got fired from like a, an entry level job. It's not like <laughs> her life is over. I'm sure the other employees at 
this at freeze now are like oh, yeah. feeling the wrath of all of this, you know, like it's, they yeah. had nothing to do with it. As far as we know, you know, there's stuff that we yeah. don't know. The owner having a weird petty note and then a weird petty Facebook response, the parents of the daughter publicly posting on behalf of the daughter. And it's just such a whirlwind and other people are getting caught in the crossfire. I enjoy uh, trying to find the opposite side of the argument and, and just like seeing if I can find anything there. So <laughs> that's well, my goal. If, exactly. And we just did a, villi- a video for Dylan's second channel. So if you want to go see him do that uh, to full extent, <laughs> go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So anyway, there you go. There's the drama. <laughs> if there's an update, I'll be sure to update you. You know, that's what I'm here for. Kind of want to go get some ice cream. It's pretty early in the morning, but is it ever too early for ice cream? I'm an adult. I can do what I want. I ate popcorn for breakfast, guys. I brought this out as a prop to be like, oh man, look at me. Oh, get your popcorn ready. And I've just been eating it the whole whole morning. I didn't even use it as a prop. I forgot to do that. (laughs) New merch will be coming out very soon. I'll announce that on my main channel. Have a good day, guys. Bye.